you can cut fertilizer bills purely by knowing what is in your slurry, your nitrogen content, your phosphorus content, potassium content, ammonium nitrates. We can give you the ability, if you choose to use it, to save an awful lot of money on buying bagged fertilizer rather than the old mentality of leave it on thick, get rid of it, let's get the store empty, job done. The beauty of applying slurry by using either this, our dribble bar, or our shallow disc injector is that you have very minimal losses to the atmosphere of ammonia and nitrogen, which means all the nutrients available are going into the soil. We also keep the neighbours a little bit more happy because you're not uh, sending smells across the airways. And this is our GPS system, plotting an A and B line, showing exactly where we're going. We have the working width of the machine set at 12 metres for our dribble bar or 6 metres for our shallow disc injector. This is then linked to our manure centre page where the working width is 12 metres for our dribble bar. So we know exactly where we are, exactly how much we're putting on, of what and where. The slurry nutrient content is analysed over 4,000 times a second. As we go from farm to farm, we find that slurries vary dramatically, which isn't a problem at all, because as our flow rate alters, if it's thinner or thicker, the nitrogen content varies, the potassium content varies, the phosphorus content varies. All that we need to do is type in whatever value people would like to apply it by. Our forward speed is altered automatically, so if it's higher in nitrogen, lower in nitrogen, we can cover it just by using the technology that's on the system. Here the farmer's chosen to apply by the nitrogen value in his slurry, which is kilograms per hectare, so we've gone for 165 kilos. If he wanted to, we could swap the values around so we could apply by phosphorus, potassium or ammonium nitrate levels. That can be uh, altered before you start the field purely by changing your target value. If you just want to do it by volume, that can be set at the top as well. So at the moment, around 60 cube a hectare. 60 cube is around 5,000 gallons a hectare. Any which way you'd like to do it, we can do. The tractor will alter its forward speed automatically. This is shown up in this corner. This is our target speed, and this is the actual speed of the tractor. When that technology's cut in, all four quarters of the circle here are green which shows that sort of system is active. <laughs>